right, I'm out here at Pratt Avenue here in Huntsville, Alabama. As you can see, we've got an update here to the upgrade. First off, uh, the uh, median signal is now stood up. It seems this might be the only signal with rear mass lights, as I'll show in a little bit. But, I mean, the reason why is because this overpass here, it, all the way down there, obscures the overhead cantilever lights, except for the pair over the end here, that is over a lane that no longer exists. So that's why when they're upgrading this gate, this side's getting a pair of mass signals. I know some people are whining and complaining, hey, I ain't the one who made this decision. Yell at Aldot for building that overpass a bit too low. Anyways, so, as you can see, this uh, new median signal has a Siemens base. Then you have the new emergency information, as you see, dot number 731804G. Then we have the bagged up lights here, which are all uh, safe train 12 by 20 inch lights, the GE uniform look LEDs, if I recall correctly. At the very least, they're all safe train 12 by 20s. And yeah, they got the uniform look LEDs. You can kind of see right there, so. Not too much. Now you got the new foundations in here for the new gated masts. It appears there will be two bells here. Because we got a new mast over here I'll show. This first mast, which I had been assuming actually would have been going in over there on that side. Turns out this is actually going to be the gate mast for the new cantilever over here, it appears. And that's why I say it looks like this thing's going to be, uh, uh, there's not going to be rear mast lights. I'll show the air signal shortly because as you see this one does not have any lights mounted on it. As you can see we got a Siemens imprinted gate mech and a double sided Siemens base. <coughs> so. Over here, we have the new uh, gated, we have the new mast signal that's going to replace the large cantilever over there. So that's the signal about to be replaced. This is the replacement signal, it appears. It appears that there's not going to be any mast lights, even though the rear mast lights, even though the current cantilevers have the rear mast lights but no rear overhead lights. Because, as you can see, there's only one pair of lights on this signal. So on this signal, we have Siemens base, Siemens imprint gate mechanism. Right here's the emergency information, as you can see, it's the same dot number. And then the lights here are a pair of safe train 12 by 20s with GE uniform look LEDs, and there's me. Another view there, the emergency information. But yeah, there's going to be a new, and of course, backside here, as you probably saw earlier, safe train. Right here's the cross buck, and that, those two science things are the reason why I suspect this is going to be the uh, new uh, shoulder mast signal, replacing the larger can lever. And of course, also on top of this mast is a General Signals electronic bell. I suspect the Type 3. This is one of the brand new ones. This is one of the newer ones that has the branding for the company that General Signals buys the current caps from. The current PVC caps from. As you can see, there's the info if you ever want to buy your own. But yeah. So, brand new mast over here. I think I've got to get a picture on that side. I'm, I'll go grab my DSLR and do that shortly. But yeah, just thought I'd show real fast what the current upgrade to uh, uh, Pratt Avenue looks like. Still no changes over there, still fully incandescent. I don't know if that's going to get an LED upgrade with the uh, new relay case or not. Still kind of surprised to see that uh, Quietdale got an upgrade. But yeah, so here's Pratt Avenue in Huntsville, Alabama. Over and out.